Today is Tuesday, the 10th day of January, the year 2012. Where we are here is a place they call Vedlas, that's the east coast of Demerara. As in a live program, we had received several complaints about the area condition where you can look across there and we will show some more footage, closer footage, where they mine pigs there, right? Pigs and sheep and thing. And it is really disgrace in the in the area where people have little children and adults living this here and he's not in a healthy condition. They are calling on the authority to do something concerned this kind of problem they are facing in this neighborhood. Hello, Mr. Sharma. I, I want to welcome you to Vrieslos. I'm a re-migrant, came back from London. This is the conditions that I have to live under. Um, only about a couple of days ago, this cart was moved from in front of here. If I want to take my car out, I have to get people to direct me how to get out and how to get in. You could see the adverse conditions that I have been living under. The feces have been thrown into the drain with potties. You see that shower court in there? That is the, the, yeah, the leaves. That is, the, that is where they bathe, they do everything. Look, and if you talk, they want to come out and beat you. Now, my husband is disabled. Where is he? He's coming out there now. My husband is afraid to come out on his own. And I think I have went to, I went to the council on several occasions. They don't pay the light bill. They don't pay phone bill. They don't pay rates and taxes. But they got more access. And since you come out, everybody just run out four or five quarters to chop you. The guy that live in at 173, which is Alfred Braffitt, chopped my brother behind his neck because the sheep was lying in the driveway where he have to come in. And the, he blow his horn on the sheep, so the sheep get up, but he didn't see the one that he maybe he jam it or whatever. But the boy come down, run down his step and gave me the cutlass and come and chop my brother right there in the middle. This is what it goes on with here in this place. I call the sanitary, you know what the sanitary tell me? That she ain't going in there for nobody beat she and kill she. Look at the condition of that place, the party and then got a toilet, go the back. These are some these are some of the condition that we see here in Redless here and uh, the problem here is really need a sanitary and a health authority to be here to do something we notice sick people live here and what did the allegation they are making here that these people are very ruthless they come out with cutlass they the place is very dirty and not healthy for a human being and especially little children live around here. Now we will look at the pigs there, that's one of the pig does there. They got cow, they got what else in there, horse, and that is in the yard where they live just about a few feet, a few yards away from, from, from each other here. There are a lot of old vehicles packed up here. They need someone in authority to do something immediately because the people, the people that live around here are getting very angry and before they start out our, our neighbor walk, please we call in the authority who are responsible to do things. Look at this house condition. Look at it, the yard condition. Look at the horse grazing. Look at the pigs in the yard. Look at it surrounded. We are not concerned who not paying light bill or what have you. We are concerned about the health in this area. And the other part of it, for the past six months, the council did not do any um, cleaning in this year. Water is not running. When the rain falls, all the water running through my yard. These are all residents out here 
would like to say, sir? I am more concerned about the roads, the deplorable condition of the roads. Yes, what you're saying, it is true. I did see some large holes on the main road to come in here. Here today, Tuesday, we're still in Redlands and we now show you the play field that the children have to use every day. This is what the play field look like in Redlands. And you, and you see the bad road, but take a look at the play field or the playground or what they call it. This is what it look like.